Hello, Jennings. How are you today? Oh. Very good, sir. Good. Net around? What do you want to see Ned about? What do you want to see Ned about? He didn't say. He didn't say or you're not telling? <laughs> would I keep anything from you, sweetheart? What would be the point? I'd only find out eventually. That's true. No flies on you. Well, that's a lesson that the second Mrs. Quartermain is about to find out about. Oh, yeah? What's up with Lucy? Well, I happened to overhear Alan and Monica talking this morning. Have you been eavesdropping again? <laughs> what did they make doors and draperies for? It seems that my brother has his doubts about Lucy's impending motherhood. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What's up? Well, it's finally gotten through Alan's thick skull that Lucy's pregnancy is a hoax. Stick around. The fireworks are about to begin. Actually, there is, Lucy. Um, I've been worried about you. Me? me? Why? How have you been feeling? Oh, darling, I have never, ever felt better. You seem a little tired lately. Well, I, I guess that's just normal for a woman in my condition. I think I'd like to have Kyle examine you, Lucy. Why? Well, just to make sure. <laughs> make sure about what? Well, about your condition. I mean, you know, you just said yourself you're a little tired. Well, I, I had Kyle examine me, and he said I was, I was perfectly fine. I think I'd like to hear it myself. Oh, darling, don't take the time to talk to him. You really don't need There's to There's really that. no problem. I'm actually going to the hospital now, so why don't we go and do it now? Oh, gosh, you are being so sweet and lovable. I appreciate it, but, you know, I really think I can go some other time, maybe later in the week. I will. I'll go then. <laughs> no, uh, is there some reason, Lucy, why you don't want me to talk to Kyle? No, of course not. Dr. Morgan's going to be the man who delivers our baby, after all. Well, then there's no problem. No, no, it's just, um, well, I was thinking I, I have more time next week, so I could go then. Why put it off, Lucy? Well, oh, I'm not up to seeing people, and I look wrecked. You darling. look gorgeous. Come on, let's go. Let's get it over with. The sooner the better, right? Right. Absolutely not. Work is the best medicine. Trust me. Oh, Monica. Oh, Monica. I, um, I, I heard what happened. I tried calling you at your hotel, but you weren't there. Um, no, no. I, 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 I'm at the house. I was so worried. Um, if anything had happened to you, I... I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Lucy Quartermain. She arrived yet? Well, listen, I, I, I need to talk to her. It's, it's, it... Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, no, 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 no message. Thank you. Goodbye. Don't hang up on my account. Oh, uh, you know, clients, how they dog you around town. Uh, what do you got, ELQ business or something else? No, I'm not much interested in ELQ these days. Yeah, uh, Nan, I know you've been going through a lot, but let me tell you something. There's a lot of fish in the sea, okay? You can go fishing any time, but you're not going to fish out of corporation. You know what I'm saying? I've been looking over the information you gave me. And? It appears that I can go several ways on the annulment proceedings. Well, you've got 20 days from the time it was served to respond. Yeah, well, I've already made my decision. Go ahead and read it. You sure you want to do this? Positive. Ned, follow my instructions. Let me give you the letter. Advice. Follow my instructions to the letter, Scott. Thank you.
doctor or Mrs. Quartermaid to see Dr. Morgan? I'll let him know you hear Dr. Quartermaid. Thank you. Thank you. Darling, you know something? You really, truly don't have to wait here with me. No, I want to. But I can tell you everything that happens uh, when I come home. <laughs> I think I'd like to hear it myself. Well, uh, Mrs. Quartermain, uh, telephone. Yes. Oh, oh, really? Who is it? Wouldn't say? Oh, well, thank you. Excuse me, darling. Um, yes, this is Mrs. Quartermain. Oh, hiya, Lucy. It's me. How dare you call me here? All right, listen to me, all right? The jig is up. What? Alan. He doesn't think you're pregnant. What? Why do you think he dragged you down there, dopey doodle doo? Look, dopey, I am pregnant, and it is Helen's baby. Yeah, well, tell that to the rabbit, okay? The one that's still breathing? <sighs> Scott, this is none of your business, okay? This is... Well, it's none of my business. If you're pregnant, it's my kid. If it's, if it's not, you've screwed up our plans. What plans? What plans? You, me, and the baby, you know, makes three? You are out of your little pea brain. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm out of my mind, huh? You're the one that's faking like you're pregnant, and I'm out of my mind. I am pregnant. I am pregnant. All right, look. Come on, Lucy. That's his face, okay? You blew it. No. Now, I'll come down there, and we'll explain the whole thing down. We'll have a little just, talk with him, okay? Shut up and stay out of my life. Hey, Some ELQ business discussed with Tracy. What kind of business? Uh, uh nothing concerning that. Good, I don't need anything else to deal with. I thought you left. Oh, I uh, had some ELQ business discussed with Ned. Oh, well, since you're here, you're about to witness something that may never happen again. Ashton actually made himself useful. Well, I think I was at that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done, Ashton? It's, it's about, about Lucy. Lucy. One of his blue hairs works as a volunteer at the hospital. Would you mind if I was a toe? Fine. Fine, Ashton. I'm in a good mood. Go ahead. I was about to say, uh, one of the more mature ladies that I met once on one of my excursions on the Aphrodite he happens to be a big mucky muck over at General Hospital. Ladies Auxiliary, something like that. By the by, she's chairing the Christmas ball. I'm trying to get her to rent the Aphrodite. Will thing. you get on with it? If you stop interrupting. If you stop veering wildly off the subject. Where was I? Oh, one of your ladies who works in obstetrics. Exactly. Yeah, no, I'm just checking. Just checking. Anyway, uh, using a dose of my considerable charm, I managed to persuade this dear soul to keep me abreast of uh, developments when Lucy meets her obstetrician. Oh, to be a fly on the wall when Alan finds out that Lucy's not really pregnant. How do you know she's not pregnant? <laughs> How do I know? There's no tooth fairy. <laughs> if she's pregnant, I'll eat that flower arrangement. Oh, really? I, I should like to see that. Oh, well, don't hold your breath. Now, Alan and Lucy should be home soon. Why don't we settle in with a nice big bowl of popcorn and wait for the show to start? Oh, I prefer caviar and champagne, I think. Well, then, how about popcorn and caviar? How does that sound? How about we all just get naked and run around North Wing? <laughs> 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 